Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Gregory Beck with Tucker Rocky Distributing. And what are we talking about this week, Greg? Kyle, today I think we're going to talk about motorcycle luggage. Now, when it comes to motorcycle luggage, you've got luggage from the fork bag to the tank bag to the seat bag to the saddle bag, and probably the most traditional or common type of luggage on a cruiser type motorcycle is going to be the saddle bag. Yeah, it comes from the old days when they threw saddle bags over horses. And now today on our iron horses, there are many, many options when it comes to what you can do with a saddle bag. You've got hard and soft. Locking, unlocking. You've got bolt-on versus quick release. Yeah, we have uh, fabric versus leather or synthetic leather. Absolutely. When it comes to saddle bags, there's a couple key points that we really need to take a look at. And Greg's going to start by talking about the mounting of the saddle bag and how to make that work. Yeah, it depends on, on how much money you want to spend, what kind of bike you have, and also what kind of luggage you're going to put on. Uh, the, the simple throw over zip on to the built in brackets that can lock on that are easy to take on and off. And you might think about liners for luggage that's not detachable. Absolutely. So any saddlebag, you can have a liner. This here is called the Easy Liner. And as you can see, you can pack your luggage inside this liner, get to where you're going, open the saddlebag, and walk it right into your hotel room. This is a great way to keep multiple items kind of concealed into one place so it's easy to get access to. Yeah, and it's, it's really a pain in the butt to physically remove everything from your saddlebag and carry it up to your room, and especially if they put you on the second floor, which sucks. Now when it comes to saddlebags, be it hard or soft, some sort of security is always a question that we get from our customers and members. When I talk about security, I'm talking about two things. Number one, removability from the motorcycle. So if it's a zip-on saddlebag, how easy or difficult is it is for a thief or somebody who has malintention to zip that saddlebag off and run with it? The second type of security that we often get questions about is the saddlebag lockable. For example, on this particular bag here, it's going to lock onto the motorcycle via the easy bracket, and the saddlebag itself on the back here has a locking mechanism as well. So a hard locking saddlebag is going to be the safest method to carry your goods if you're looking for a bag that's going to lock both your contents inside of it and it to the motorcycle. Kyle, do the uh, manufacturers generally make the same key for the latch on the back and the latch to hold it onto the bike? Great point, Greg. And that's really not something that happens. Usually Easy Bracket has its own key and the saddlebag manufacturer is going to have a secondary key in order to lock your valuables inside the bag. Something to pay attention to. Now when it comes to security, you're, you're really trying to keep the honest honest. And William Max, with this throwover saddlebag, has come up with a quick release buckle that allows locking with a plastic key. So this really is a neat function in order to keep somebody from walking up and opening your buckles. But being since it says a soft saddlebag, they could take a knife, cut the top, and get to your contents anyway. So when it comes to security, make sure that you get the type of locking mechanisms and bags secure enough in order to meet the needs that you're looking for. Yeah, it's important. And you know, you can ask your friends, ask us. Send us a message, we'll, we'll, we'll respond. So once again, saddlebags are the most common luggage that most people put on their motorcycles. Now if you don't care for saddlebags and don't want to go with the hassle of brackets and mounting and throw over versus bolt on, you can always go with some sort of back seat bag or sissy bar bag. So not all saddlebags are going to be perfect for everybody. Actually sometimes you might, not, you might need one or two sets. For example, on my 690 I have hard luggage, generally for camping and stuff, going out with the wife and things like that. But when I go off road they're a little bulky, so I have a soft luggage that displays across the back and is secure, which is a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. If you're running a sissy bar or something of that nature, this little pack from Saddleman is a great option too if you're not carrying lots of luggage. This simply sit, slips down over the back of your sissy bar and is held on with just a couple straps. A great way to carry a minimal amount of, of goods. You could put a pair of gloves in here, uh, uh, maybe a jacket liner, six pack of beer. Another popular storage device, Greg, is the front fork pouch. Now back in the Easy Rider days they had to put their tools in here because the bikes were notorious for losing parts or breaking down and this was really necessary. But today a lot of the folks out there are using this to store gloves and wallets and things of that nature when they're going on short jaunts. Same look, different function. Absolutely. So if you've got any questions about motorcycle luggage and options that you're considering, go ahead and shoot us a comment and either Greg or I will respond to you with our most appropriate answer.